This week I wanted to learn the coin roll. This trick consists in rolling a coin across your knuckles from the index finger to the pinky. And even if it might seem pretty easy, when I first started trying, I was completely lost. So I decided to approach the skill step by step. The first step consists in choosing the right coin depending on the dimension of your hand. I read that the American Quarter tend to work pretty well for a lot of people. So I decided to use a similar coin. We start by holding the coin in our upturned hand, placing the thumb on top of the coin and sliding it over the side of the index finger, specifically on the area between the middle knuckle and your palm. While sliding the coin, we turn the hand so the palm is now facing down, and we continue to slide the coin up until it falls flat on top of the index finger. All the fingers need to stay curved downward, without making contact with the palm. At this point, you need to raise the middle finger up above the index finger. The middle finger, this way, prevents the coin to fall off your hand, and from this position, we simultaneously pull down the middle finger and push up the index finger so the coin will fall flat on top of the middle finger. When the coin is resting on the phalanx of the middle finger, we pull down the ring finger and push up the middle finger to flip the coin once again. So I tried a few times rolling the coin from the index finger to the ring finger and no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't prevent the coin from falling off my hand at some point. I don't know what I'm doing. Moreover, my movement was mechanic and pretty bad to watch and the sound of the coin hitting the table was causing me pain inside. So I moved above a soft surface and I kept practicing trying to be slow and precise. At first, nothing changed, but then I realized what I was doing wrong. I was automatically stretching my fingers and my arm was really tense. But after I focused on staying more relaxed, my movement got more fluid. After a few minutes, the coin was falling less often and I could perform the trick pretty consistently. So I decided to move to the next step. When the coin is resting on the ring finger, things get pretty different. We raised the pinky to prevent the coin falling off the hand. But instead of performing the usual motion, we pinch the coin between the ring finger and the pinky. You need to let the coin slide through the fingers and reaching it with the thumb underneath your palm. By loosening your pinch on the coin and using the thumb to grab it under your palm, you can slide the coin back up to the side of your index finger. This last process is easier said than done. You need to time all the movements and not pinching the coin too much in order to be able to catch it with the thumb. But also not too little, or the coin will probably fall. Once I got the theory down, I simply started practicing, over and over again. Slowly my movement got a bit more fluid and I got more control over the coin. I also discovered that for some reason, if I push my thumb against my index finger, the trick gets easier. But it can get stressful when you keep trying for a long time. At a certain point, I literally lost control of my fingers and they were extremely uncoordinated. So I took a quick break to rest my fingers and when I tried again, I was better than before. And after a while, the movement was getting smoother, but I was still really slow. So I tried to focus on anticipating the motion of the coin. When the coin was on the index finger, I was already moving the middle finger. And when the coin was on the middle finger, I was already moving the ring finger. This allowed me to minimize the time the coin was resting on top of the finger between one roll and the next one. I also noticed that the more I practiced, the more I was able to roll the coin with less motion of my fingers. And after three hours and 25 minutes of practice, I was finally happy with the results. I know it can be better, but once you get just fluid enough, the trick will start to look good and it also gets really satisfying to perform. Then as an experiment, I tried with different coins and I realized that with bigger coins, the trick gets easier to perform. On the other hand, smaller coins are pretty hard to grip. This skill is great and it's also relatively easy. The theory is pretty simple. It's all about practicing for a while. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see me daily and I'll see you next week with a new skill.